Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is week three of my low buy collab that I created here on YouTube with a amazing group of people who are working on a low buy and themed weekly melting baskets in the whole month of January and the month of February. And week three is Risky Week. Now, I created this week because... We all have wax that you're like, oh yeah, that's good, mm, not really sure, but I'll melt it. And then where does it go? In your basket, and in your drawer, and then it goes in the bottom, and then you never end up reaching for it, because you're just not sure about it. This week is that wax's week to shine. Now, I call it risky week, because it is risky. We're not sure. You may end up absolutely loving the blend. You never know. The only way you know is if you melt it. So, I already know this is going to be challenging. Charity, I can already hear you whining about this week on scents you don't like. But that's just the nature. I love you so much, Charity. But you're funny. <laughs> little whiner. I love it. She's, she's our little Charlie Brown of the group. Oh, Charlie Brown. That, that's Charity. Anyway, this is my Risky Week melting basket. There's some scents in here that I'm not looking forward to melting, but I never know if I like it unless I try it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Starting off, I have two clams from Super Tarts. The first one is Robin, and Robin is fresh cut grass and strawberry. And I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of fresh cut grass scents. And, but I like strawberry, so I was like, well, let me give this a try. And yeah, it really just smells like fresh cut grass, but it's not sweet grass. It's like real grass and not the biggest fan. But everybody knows that Super Tarts, when you melt her wax, the scents really come alive. So I'm excited to see what that does in the warmer. And then I have Santa Claus. And this one is eggnog, cinnamon liqueur, Christmas cookies, and nutmeg. I found eggnog is not my favorite scent in wax. I don't like eggnog to drink. But this scent has that plastic note really strong. And, like, Super Tarts clamshells do have that plastic note. But, oh boy, does this clam just smell like plastic. Like, cinnamon plastic. So, I'm not really sure... But again, giving it a shot. The cinnamon plastic note. Hopefully that cookie and nutmeggy type of scent will come out more when I melt it. But again, you don't know unless you melt it. So adding that to the basket. This guy. Loomis from Vintage Chic Scents. I, I don't know what it is. Pumpkin, coconut, and clove on a base of dark bourbon, maple, and toasted oak. For some reason... And I have two leaves here. It kind of smells like stale. I don't know, because toasted oak, bourbon, pumpkin, clove, like, if it's the coconut and the maple, I don't know what it is in here, but it just smells funky. I'm not sure. It's very popular, though. People really like it. So, it's just not for my nose. But again, maybe whenever I melt it, those things will change. Then I have a little bit left over from Salt Mountain Melts in Champagne Problems. I melted part of this loaf. I did not like it. It says Cherries on Snow, Bubbly Champagne, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I love the Cherries on Snow candle from Yankee Candle, but this does not smell like that. It is horrible. It's just like, like cough syrup times 10. So this, I'll fully admit, I'm melting this when I go to work. When I'm working like a nighttime shift, this is going in the warmers in the morning, so I only have to put up with it for when I'm like showering, getting ready, and hopefully by the time I get home from work, it's gone. Fully, full disclosure, that is getting melted when I'm not in the house because I, I don't care for it, but I want to get rid of it. Next from Rose Girls, I have two muffins in black cherry pineapple upside down cake. And it's pineapple upside down cake and black cherries. I don't like cherry. Mm -mm. I do not like black cherry. And that's really what I smell. I don't smell any pineapple upside down cake. 
Rose Girls is super hit or miss on throw. I'm praying that this is where I don't smell it. My luck, it'll be like the strongest scent in the world. I have a little bag of mini melters from a Big Kahuna box in a Japanese cherry blossom and white clouds. Why is this in here? I'm not an old lady. Japanese cherry blossom is such an old lady scent and ugh, it's gonna go in my bathroom though, so let's see. It'll smell like I had an old lady in the bathroom. Actually, it'll really smell like an old lady in the bathroom because I also picked Woodstock 69, which smells like patchouli's. Oh, oh god. Oh, is it Nog Champa and patchouli? Or whatever it is, mm, I am not a fan of. Ugh. This will be another one I melt when I'm not home. The things you do for scents, right? All right, let's pull some Brita's. I have a couple Brita's things. I did get a um, winter box from Brita's. I didn't film it because I don't want to publicly bash a company on YouTube. Would never order from Brita's again. Her business model is trash. Um, yeah, I just, I don't care for her and the scents were totally not for me. So I have this guy, this is, <clears throat> Kim's Special Eggnog, which is eggnog and roasted pine cones. There are these two little headstones, and yeah, it's that eggnog scent. I just do not care for eggnog. I have a bat shape here from her in Edward's Barber Box, which is Downy April Fresh, Cashmere Cream, and Winter Nights. Whatever that Winter Nights oil is, is also not for me. I don't care for that either. Next, Edward's Cookie Cutters. This is a Ouija board shape. Peanut butter cookies, banana walnut cake, and Mrs. Claus's cookies. I was like, oh my god, this sounds so good. I love peanut butter scents. It smells like you forgot about the peanut butter cookies in the oven for about an hour. It smells like burnt peanut butter cookies. And then the last Brita's I have is Man with the Hands in a skull shape. And this is Snow Witch, Icy Peppermint, and Hot Apple Pie. What a combo. Uh -uh. My face is in this video. Uh -uh. No, I, uh -uh. I don't know. Snow Witch, Icy Peppermint, and Hot Apple Pie. Whatever that blend is, is gross. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Zape Elves Who Brunch, Buttermilk Pancakes, Maple Syrup, Buttery Toast, Eggs and Bacon. If you guys remember my first impressions of this set during the haul, it has not changed. That smells like a McDonald's Sausage Egg and Cheese McGriddle. Funky. Eggs, bacon, and all. I have two from the Melted Moose. This one is a little scent shot in Maple Rolls. Honey Butter Rolls and Glazed Maple. I'm not a fan of maple in real life. And I, I really pick up on the maple in this. It smells like, like a, exactly what it says, like a maple roll. Like a buttery, yeasty bread with some maple on top. Not a maple fan. And then this one. Southern S'mores. Sounds really interesting. Strawberry jam, toasted marshmallow, and cornbread cakes. However, I don't know what the cornbread cakes kind of smell. Kind of gives me like Fritos vibes. Let me see if I can pump this out. See, it's like layered like this. Yeah. It kind of smells like, I don't know if it's Fritos or Doritos or what it is, but... I'm not a fan of whatever cornbread cakes is, I think, because strawberry jam and toasted marshmallow I love. And then <clears throat> two from Rainbow Melts. Also did not film this haul because, again, the business practices of Crystal are ridiculous. This one is What the Elf, and this is maple pancakes, cola, and chocolate chip cookie dough. An odd blend. <sighs> maple pancakes... Coke and chocolate chip cookies. Mm. Nope, don't like that. I also pulled quite a bit because I don't know if my nose is going to be able to handle these scents for a whole day. <clears throat> and then we have Holiday Snooze, and this one is Lavender Vanilla, Christmas Tree, and Garden Mint. The blends are very strange. 
I smell lavender vanilla like the Bath and Body Works do for the aromatherapy line. I get mint like mint leaves. Christmas tree? Not really. I'm really just picking up on lavender vanilla and mint leaves. It's quite, quite bizarre. And then, if I get to this, awesome. If not, I'll put it away, or like, I'll use the rest of it for loaf week. This is from L3 Waxy Wonders, and this is peanut butter and berry grape jelly. It's great for me. <clears throat> yeah, it's the grape for me. It smells like Dimatap, and I'm not a fan of that. Mm -mm. It's funky. I don't get any peanut butter. It just smells like really artificial grape cough medicine. So, I want to... Use that up and get that out of my collection. Super short, sweet, and to the point. That was my melting basket for Risky Week. Again, I will leave everybody who's participating in this um, in this challenge in the original collaboration because I cannot keep track of all the amazing content creators here on YouTube and Instagram who are participating in the challenges, but I'll leave the original group down below. And as always, if you want to participate in Risky Week, Now's the time. Pick your basket. Let me know what scents you're really excited to try. Well, excited to try, but you know what I mean. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. You matter. I love you so much, and subscribe. Bye, guys.